So we found that fructose drops the energy in the cell. And that seems to be the special mechanism by which it, it drives obesity. And the way it works is that when the energy falls, that there's this, the breakdown of ATP is broken down to uric acid and uric acid is doing all these biologic effects. And so for the longest time, we thought it was just that pathway that was driving the obesity. But then we had the discovery that there's another mechanism that's linked with the uric acid driving the obesity. And that pathway seems to be due to the fact that fat is more than just an energy source. So we think of fat as a source of calories that animals use when there's not enough food around. But animals also use fat to produce water. And the way that works is when fat is burned, mm -hmm. it generates water. So there's no water in fat, but when you burn it, you produce water. And a lot of animals turn out to make fat to not just store it as energy, but to store it as water. So when there's not enough water around, they can have it available. When you, we realized that, that fat was also a means for storing water, we became interested in if you're dehydrated, would that be a mechanism for stimulating fat? Because if you were afraid you're going to become dehydrated or you were dehydrated, wouldn't it make sense to try to store fat as a source of water? Whales will have a lot of fat. They don't get their fresh water from the seawater. They have to get their fresh water from the crustaceans and things they eat. In order to get enough water, they actually get fat. And then they, what they do is they break down the fat to release water. So the, Interesting. the fat becomes a source of water. And so it turns out that dehydration is another mechanism for generating fructose in the body. So if you eat like salty foods, a lot of salty foods, that will activate this enzyme to convert glucose to fructose. And when you eat salt, you basically are becoming de dehydrated. That's why you get thirsty. So you eat salt, get dehydrated, you start making fructose. The fructose drives fat production, and then the fat production becomes a source of water. And that is one of the protective mechanisms by which fructose tries to, tries to help the animal because if it feels it's trying to protect you not just from too little food, but from absence of water. So if you have a lot of fat, you can live without a lot of water because you, you can use the fat to make water. That's why the camel has fat, fatty hump, is so that it can produce water when it can't get enough because it can break down the fat to produce water. So if I understood you correctly, dehydration can actually endogenously within the body produce fructose. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that's fascinating because a lot of carnivores, um, since we don't eat a lot of carbs with fat, with salt and sugar, we don't feel a lot of thirst. So there's a lot of thoughts where um, drink to thirst and a lot of carnivores aren't thirsty, but I wonder if some of the carnivores are because they're fasting a lot, they're never really thirsty. So they're maybe getting dehydrated and then they're producing some of the fructose, which is making some people stall in their weight, even though they're eating very low carb. There are a lot of cats that are developing kidney disease. Okay. And a lot of them, are, we think they're getting dehydrated mm -hmm. uh, and they're activating this pathway. And one of the thoughts is that they're not drinking enough water. This is also being seen in wild cats where they're developing kidney disease uh, associated with dehydration. Uh, and we think that they're not getting enough water. So one of the uh, interesting things is that these animals, when they are getting dehydrated and vasopressin levels are going high, you, you can suppress that with, by drinking water. So for example, if, if we give animals salt, over time, for the first few months, that there's not much going on, but they start making fructose and then they become very, very fat. And it's through this fructose vasopressin pathway. And if we give them water, we can suppress the vasopressin and we can um, and prevent them from getting obesity. Could fructose be driving fat as a mechanism to provide water for these animals that are in, in those kinds of situations? And so what we found is that dehydration actually is another mechanism that turns on this polyol enzyme wow. to convert glucose to fructose. And when you become dehydrated, it, mild dehydration triggers this effect to try to make fat. 
And the easiest way to make mild dehydration is to eat salt because when you eat salt, you become a little bit thirsty and you're actually triggering a dehydration in your body. And that actually stimulates the production of fructose. And so when you eat salt, you actually make fructose. 